we live, right? I'm trying to give y'all some new flavor and it's just not popping. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel it's Vanessa Monet here and I'm bringing you guys the purple eyeshadow look that I did wear in a giveaway a few weeks ago now in this tutorial I'm featuring one of my favorite palettes at the moment and that is the power of makeup by Nikki tutorials and how she collaborated with Too Faced it is a really beautiful palette as you can see here it comes with a bunch of eyeshadows two blushes a bronzer a bronzing powder and it comes with a highlight now if you want to see me go ahead and give you this full-on glam using the entire palette I didn't use the other stuff with it because I don't really use it but I do love this palette you guys especially for its versatility and the pigments are absolutely gorgeous so I had to you know give you guys my favorite color which is purple as you guys know so if you would like to see my spin on the palette then go ahead and just keep watching Alright, for foundation today I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Pro Glow Infallible and then I'm going to be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Before I put on any foundation, I'm going to use my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I want to put this in the areas where I know my pores are and I know I'll get super oily. Alright, for concealers, I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Cool Tan and my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the shade Medium 25, I think. And this one will give me a nice little highlight, just a tad. And as always, to bronze up the skin a little bit, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Chestnut. And this is just what I put on the perimeter of my face, just to give it a little bit of warmth. Sometimes I can go a little bit overboard, and I use my same sponge to dab that out. Just a tad bit more highlight because sometimes when I go overboard with the cream contour, I kind of have to bring back some dimension and I'll just go ahead and lighten my face back up. Alright, so I feel really good about how my foundation is turned out. And like I said, I'm using the Milani 2-in-1. Um, conceal and perfect and I like this because it gives you a really full coverage with that and of course my L'Oreal infallible I have to throw that in there somewhere to bake my under eyes I'm going to be using the Sasha buttercup setting powder and I'm going to just place a light layer underneath my eye And I take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish, and this is in the shade Dark. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in, set the rest of my face quickly because I don't want to dry out my skin because like you guys already know, I do have dry skin. And let me tell you, that setting powder will kill it if you don't get it off quickly. Now my now we're gonna come back to the face a little bit later, but I just had to set it in place just so you know it'll be ready for later. I'm going to go in with the shade Painkiller and my MAC 224. I'm going to dust this into my crease area slash my transition area. And 
I like it because it just it's like painkiller is literally the, the best transition shade. And I want to take the shade Ivy from the palette. You guys, this color is really, really bright. So I'm going to try my best to only put it on my brow bone. I'm really mad too about this palette because it comes with some glitter called Glitterly. And literally when I got the package, I broke it. I'm going to just dust this really lightly on the brow bone. I would only recommend this to go on the brow bone because guys, it is literally white as snow. I'm going to go back in with Painkiller in my 224 and I'm going to just dust this right over that white just to bring it in and out. I'm going to go in with the color Justify My Love and it is a blush from the palette. And I'm going to pick, up, pick it up very, very lightly I want to dust this strictly in my transition area just to get it as nice and pinky as possible. So this pink is just going really into the crease. I'm keeping it concentrated there. So as I said, I'm just keeping this into the crease and blending it up into my transition. You know, just to keep it really nice and flirty. I always think it's best to go in with a, a really nice transition shade that's close to your skin tone just to give you something to blend into so you're just not left with the blotchiness. So that's a key, a major key for me. Make sure you have a skin tone transition color or something close to your skin tone just to blend out any color transition into. All right, and now for the fun part. I feel like I have enough pink on my eyelids to get me the breast cancer awareness mark. So let's just keep going. All right, so I'm going to take this Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow brush and spray it with some Face Plus really good. And then I'm going in with my favorite, favorite color from the palette, and that is the shade Wham Bam. I'm not putting it in my crease because I really wanted to do blend into the crease, if that makes sense. And I'm going to use that same brush just to throw it in the crease. Like this. You guys, if you ever use Too Faced shadows, they're like so popping. And they're not all powdery. You know how you get some that are really, really powdery and dusty and they really get everywhere and fall out everywhere? Not these Too Faced shadows, which I really, really like. And I'm just taking my 224 again and blending that in. I feel like I need to get closer to my lips. So it's really, I'm loving the purple. So of course I have to throw a little bit of setting powder right underneath my eyes just so I could get my lower lash line. I'm going to take that same swatcher powder just a little bit and I'm going to just dab this under the eyes just to catch any fallout. I do put it on my nose because sometimes my fallout gets a little crazy and it wants to go down my nose. So I just use this underneath the eye, right underneath, just so that I can place that lower lash line shadow. Okay, so if you ever want to feel like you want to do something spicier than normal, go ahead and throw some shadow on that lower lash line. So I'm going to use that same brush. I'm going to take the shade um, Painkiller again, and I'm going to dust this on my lower lash line. All right, all right now I'm going to take this, this e.l.f brush and want to just dust away that powder real quick before it dries up my skin even further all right for my lashes you guys know that I love the Vegas Nate Grand Glamour lashes there's this color called irresistible and I think I want to place it right here to liven up the eyes a bit For blush, I'm going to use I Will Always Love You and Justify My Love Together as blush. I'm just using this Real Tools blush brush. All right, so now we're going to try this highlight. Now, the highlight in the palette is super duper white, but um, Nikki Tutorials was saying something about applying your highlight with your beauty blender. I'm going to use, I'm going to just dip in my Real Tools complexion sponge and just go ahead and tap the highlight on the skin. I want to keep my face in the purple family so I'm going to go in with my NARS lip gloss 
And this is in the shade Anna's Flawless. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, you guys. Like, I barely can even think sometimes. But I'm going to just put this gloss all over my lips. I love this gloss because it lasts all day long. Maybe a little fix plus won't hurt. That's just for that extra glow. And I'll be right back, guys. Let me get this hair together because as you can see, again, it has changed. One sec, guys. I really, 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 really love Nikki Tutorials. And she's so fearless and bold and unafraid to paint her face. And that's something that I have always been a huge fan of, you guys. So, I was just so excited when she collaborated with Too Faced. Please comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you guys think. I'm just excited to be giving you guys another video. Love you all so much. Bye.